Oh, it's a great honor to be captain of the new Marine Warrior. It's a, a great ship that was specifically designed for Greenpeace. And uh, I've been sailing for Greenpeace since 1989. And it's a really good feeling, especially when we come to a country like Brazil, where we've been so well received and we have so many great volunteers and a wonderful staff that's been working for very many years on zero deforestation in the Amazon and the climate and energy campaign now. And uh, I'm quite optimistic that we'll be able to do good work here in Brazil. How could you find this book? Well, we had this book uh, designed by one of the top naval architects in Europe, Kenneth Dykstra, and he did a very good job of it. It's very efficient and it uh, sails very well. We have 1,288 square meters of sail area and it's very fast and we have a very low carbon footprint. Uh, what we're really trying to show the world is we have to shift away from fossil fuels immediately or we're going to have runaway climate change and catastrophic results on many levels. For example, the acidification of the oceans and loss of fisheries. And so there's many campaigns we have to work on, but with this ship, it's a real iconic symbol that shows that we can move away from fossil fuels. Wind energy does have a place in the shipping world and also in the energy sector. What are the advantages of this version uh, compared to the two others? Well, this one is specifically designed as a sailing vessel. The first and the second Rainbow Warrior were originally fishing vessels that were converted into sailing vessels. And they were never able to sail as efficiently as this one. This one can sail to windward, and it takes very small amounts of uh, fuel to actually motor, and it is able to sail uh, very well, and motor sail very efficiently as well. We have a decent lighting system for when we have to go towards the wind, or increase the speed.